So, yesterday everybody got the answer for this problem. So, what is the value of uh, D? Am I audible or not? Hello, guys. Audible, sir. Okay. So, how much you got yesterday? Diameter? 67 mm. 67. 67. 67. Small d equal to 67 or capital D equal to 67? Capital D, sir. Capital D equal to? 67. 67 mm. Okay, what about a small d? Uh, 53.69 53.69 mm so everybody got the same answer so if you have a doubt if you have a uh, problem you just uh, ask the questions don't sit like an uh, baby stand up to some code but right eh? tell me the Okay, not done. A section of uh, a section of a shaft. section of a shaft of diameter D of diameter D is joined to a section is joined to a section of a diameter One point five D okay. with a fillet with a fillet which produces which produces an actual stress concentration of actual stress concentration of 1.22 for the shaft in torsion in torsion point the material has an yield point has an yield point in shear as 336 mega Pascal and entrance stress and entrance stress in a reverse bending reverse bending as 375 mega Pascal okay. determine the size of the shaft okay. 
determine the size of the shaft shaft okay required for torque determine the size of the shaft required for a torque which varies from which varies from which varies from 0 to 0 to 2.26 kilo newton meter kilo newton meter full point use design factor use design factor equal to 2 equal to 2 you take uh, 3 into 4 minutes time you just analyze so what is the requirement here what is the requirement here So, a section of a shaft of diameter D. Okay. So now it is a diameter D. Okay. So which is going to connect, which is going to connect of another shaft which diameter is 1.5 D. Okay. With a fillet which produces an actual stress concentration factor. Okay. That is of a KT equal to 1.22 for the shaft in torsion okay so the material has an yield shear stress okay that means so tau y is 336 mega pascal and endurance stress in bending okay this is 375 mega pascal so now you need to find out now you need to find out so diameter d diameter d okay so this is shaft is used to transmit the torque okay from 0 to 2.26 kilo newton meter okay. now consider design factor that is what factor of safety as a 2 okay. factor of safety as a 2 now this is what uh, similar to previous problem similar to previous problem so in this case they have given directly the stress concentration factor they have given directly the stress concentration factor okay so now you can find out the value of uh, ferric stress concentration factor okay ferric stress concentration factor so you take some uh, assumption that is not an sensitivity this is what in a range from 0 0.9 to 1 from a range 0 0.9 to 1 okay now in, in this case uh, they are not specified the surface factor size factor okay as well as the load factor whether they are specified surface factor load factor size factor no sir okay so if they are not specified you go for assume assumption okay if they are not specified you go for assumption okay so let us look out here so now I will write given data here, given data, okay. So now capital D is what? 1.5D, small d is given, okay. Next, the stress concentration factor KT is given, this is how much? 1.22, 1.22, okay. So now tau y is given, this is 375 mega Pascal, okay. Tau y is 
सॉरी थ्री थर्टी सिक्स मेगा पास्कल थ्री थर्टी सिक्स मेगा पास्कल ओके एंड सिग्मा ई एन गेवन हियर सिग्मा ई एन इक्वल टू दिस इज थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पास्कल थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पास्कल नो सो नेक्स्ट दे हैव गिवन मिनिमम टॉर्क टॉर्क मिनिमम इज जीरो किलो न्यूटन मीटर ओके सो मैक्सिमम टॉर्क दिस इज टू पॉइंट टू सिक्स टू सिक्स किलो न्यूटन मीटर ओके नो एफ एस इज गिवन एफ ओ एस इक्वल टू टू एफ ओ एस इक्वल टू टू सो विल स्टार्ट सोल्यूशन हियर लेटर्स को फॉर अज्यूम अज्यूम एक्सक्यूज मी सर सर समवन इज ट्राइंग टू एडमिट टू दोस थिंग्स सो डोंट गिव मोर कंसंट्रेशन टू दैट वन इट हैज अ टाइम सेंस ओके सो लेट अस अज्यूम साइज फैक्टर ओके 0.85 ओके नेक्स्ट सरफेस फिनिश फैक्टर लेट अस गो फॉर पॉइंट नाइन ओके सो अज्यूम नॉट सेंसिटिविटी दिस इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट नाइन ओके राइट नाउ load factor as it is subjected to shear stress okay shearing then you can assume load factor as a 0.6 okay you can assume load factor as a 0.6 now let us notify the notations here now size factor refers to the b surface factor refers to the c now sensitivity it is what a small q load factor is a right So now you solve for uh, stresses here. Okay, so let us calculate the minimum torsional shear stress. How much you are going to get here? Okay, is it right? Now this is what a tau minimum equal to. जीरो मेगा पास्कल राइट नेक्स्ट मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस यू कैलकुलेट मैक्सिमम टॉर्शनल शेयर स्ट्रेस ओके सो टो मैक्स इक्वल टू So T max divided by Z P. Now we calculate. Now we calculate. So now T max is in terms of kilo newton meter. Convert that one in terms of newton m n. This is how much? Two point two six. Into ten to power of three, and now it is newton. Okay, into ten to power three, it is newton mm now. Okay, now so tau max equal to sixteen into two point two six into ten to power of six divided by pi d cube. Because Z P equal to what? Pi d cube by sixteen. Right? Now someone calculate and give the answer here.
How much you got? Eleven point five one into ten to the power of six divided by T Q. Eleven point five one into ten to the power of six divided by T Q. Okay, right. So next we calculate the mean stress. Mean stress equal to what? Tau m equal to okay. So tau max plus a tau minimum okay. Divided by two. So tau max is eleven point five one into ten to four of six. Okay, plus zero divided by two d q. How much? Five point seven five. How much you got? Yes, five point seven five. Five point seven five. Five point seven five. Ten to the power of six divided by DQ. Five point seven five into ten to the power of six divided by DQ. Okay. Now let us find out uh, the amplitude stress here. This is our tau a equal to so tau max minus tau minimum divided by two. So eleven point five one into ten to the power of six minus zero divided by two. We are going to get the same here. Five point seven five into ten to the power of six divided by t q. Right. Now, so you calculate what is the Fedig stress concentration factor here. Let us calculate Fedig stress concentration factor. Okay. So now, K F equal to. Q in brackets K T minus one plus one. So you can refer data and book. You know the equation here. For this one also you write equation. So referring design data and book. Okay, so what is the equation number? Referring design data and book. So what is the equation? Okay. So you must write it. Okay. Now. So here we have consider Q equal to point nine. K T they have given. Okay, minus one plus one. Okay, so now you calculate what is the value of uh, Kf. So that is a one point one two. One point one two. Pardon? One point one two. One point one two. I think you got every requirement here. Now let us go for the diameter of shaft based on Soderberg relations as a specified yield stress here. <coughs> Now, so diameter of shaft based on Soderberg relations. Based on Soderberg relationship, okay. Now, so refer design data handbook and notify the equation, okay. So one by n equal to K F into sigma a divided by a b c into sigma e n plus a sigma m divided by sigma y. 
Okay, so now this is a case of uh, shear. You note an equation. Now you substitute values. Now you substitute values. Okay. So now as they are given uh, entrance stress and reverse bending, there is what uh, sigma E n is given. So you need to check out whether uh, is it possible to take say how E n equal to sigma E n, or you need to go for some proportionate. Okay. So let us look out in data and book. Okay, now you just to take uh, the sigma e n equal to tau e n. Okay, so because all relations are here, it is there. Okay, so tau e n equal to you can take a point six times of uh, sigma e n. Okay, point six times of sigma e n. Okay, so you write so tau e n equal to so tau e n. So let us take here so tau e n. Equal to point six times of sigma e n. Okay, so now point six into three seventy five. Whether three thirty six or three seventy five? Okay, three seventy five. Let us find out. How much you got? Two twenty five mp. Two twenty. Two twenty five, sir. On the next slide, two twenty-five. Sir, it is. Sir, this is there no problem. Sir, 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 Now, now can you hear me? Now. Microphone problem, sir. Huh? Microphone problem. Is lagot or lagin? Are you on, sir? Ah, yeah, more than a minute, sir. Exam, you have to prove a lagot and problem, sir. Me, me, what problem? Yeah, here I go, sir. I'm like to know the words. Okay. I hope now I am audible. Okay. Okay. Unmute mode, sir. Unmute. Unmute, sir. Sure. Am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Huh? Hello. Please do reply. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, it is a little bit problem. Wait two yeah. minutes. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let us substitute all values in equation. Okay. Uh, one thing is that uh, a cross check here. One thing is that cross check. Now the sigma e n has to be less than sigma y, or sigma e n has to be less than tau u. Because so as you see, this strength is a uh, very low. Okay, 
as compared to the diagram as you seen uh, the change in uh, sorry the entrance uh, limit what you obtained entrance limit what you obtained so conducting n number of experiment okay so you have drawn uh, plots you got some failure points so now this is about a lowest stress this is lowest stress now you must have a cross check here okay you must have a cross check sigma en has to be lesser than the sigma y okay now you substitute all values and calculate same problem sir So now you substitute and find out what is the value. Is there anybody calculated? So one by two equal to one point one two. Okay, I think what here uh, eleven. Uh, sorry, five point seven five. Into ten to four of uh, six. Okay, divide by a is point six, b is point eight five. Okay, c is point nine. Okay, so tau e n is how much? Two to five. Okay, into d cube plus <coughs> plus. Okay, so five point seven five. Sir, D equal to fifty four point one six. Okay, wait. D equal to how much? Fifty four point one six. Fifty four point one six. Okay. So you go for higher value. Let us go for fifty five mm. Round up. Okay. Everybody got the same answer. Everybody got the same answer. Yes, sir. Okay, finish the note. Yes, sir. Same answer. Next note. Determine the maximum load. maximum load for the simply supported beam for the simply supported beam cyclically loaded cyclically loaded as shown in figure
I have shown figure full point. The ultimate strength the ultimate strength equal to six ninety mega Pascal comma yield point and tension yield point and tension equal to five twenty mega Pascal. Endurance strength in reverse bending endurance strength in a reverse bending is three forty five mega Pascal. full point design factor design factor equal to 1.3 take size factor take size factor equal to 0 0.85 and the surface factor and surface factor <coughs> equal to 0 0.9 okay. So now it is a simply supported beam of a circular cross section, okay. So which is subjected to which is subjected to the fluctuating loads, okay. Fluctuating loads, okay. So that is what uh, which is going to vary from W to 3W. W to 3W, right? Now you need to calculate what is the value of W. What is the value of W? So just go through the problem. So can anyone summarize how you can solve this one? Now as it is simply supported beam, as it is a simply supported beam subjected to the point load at exactly middle of its uh, span, okay. Now what is the parameter you need to find out, okay, uh, to get the stresses value. Once you got the stress value, we can easily find out uh, the value of W. Can someone summarize? First, what do we need to do?
ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತದಂತ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಏನೇನು ಬರ್ತಾವೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ಬೇಗ ಬೇಗ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಬಂದ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಲೋಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಗುಡ್ಮನ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ನೋಡ ಮೀನ್ ಅವರೇಜ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಇದು ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೆ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಂಡಿಡಿಯಲ್ ಓ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಆ m ಬೈ i m ಬೈ i ಸೋ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ n ಹಿಯರ್ how will get the value of m now it is a simply supported beam yes okay so how will get the value of m force into perpendicular distance force into perpendicular distance perpendicular distance okay now how will get now if you sub- if you simply support it z so what you are going to get at the support what you are going to get at the support bending moment f l by 4 moon pardon f into l by 4 when to the value f into l by 4 okay now you need to find out reaction force at support here okay now we want to get a two type of reaction force one is a minimum one is what uh, the minimum reaction force and the other one is the maximum reaction force okay so first you find out what is the maximum uh, reaction force at support a and b you will just recall the equations what are solved in uh, strength of material let us take this is a support a this is what support b right so as i said you need to find out uh, minimum uh, reaction forces first minimum reaction forces so if you take r a b r a minimum this is equal to what w by 2 okay so r b minimum this is equal to w by 2 okay so now r a max equal to what 1.5 w okay so because 3 w by 2 rb max it is also 1.5 w right so now the maximum bending moment is going to occur at this position because as it is a symmetry as it is a symmetry let us calculate the minimum bending stress here minimum bending stress so minimum bending stress okay so to calculate this minimum bending stress you need minimum bending moment divided by zp so it be divided by z okay so no minimum bending moment so m minimum equal to 200 okay into ra minimum okay so how much you are going to get you are going to get 100 w here okay now in this case bending stress is in terms of w whether it is a minimum bending stress or maximum bending stress it is in terms of w right so maximum bending stress also in terms of w so how much you are going to get the maximum bending stress here so here m max okay m max equal to 200 into r a max now this is 200 into 1.5 w this is equal to how much 300 w now you need to calculate what is the min- uh, minimum bending stress sigma b minimum okay and uh, sigma b maximum now bending stresses are in terms of w here right 
in terms of W. Next, you find out what is the mean bending stress, what is the amplitude bending stress. Okay. Then all parameters are given here. All parameters are given. Now, in this case, you need to take uh, the fatigue stress concentration factor Kf equal to one because the component does not have any irregularities. Because the component does not have any irregularities, right? So now considering all those things, you just calculate and provide the value. What is the value of W? Okay. So now you start solution. So I can I can ask anybody to give the answer. If you have a ten minutes time, listen here, everyone. I can ask anybody to show your write up, your solution through Google Meet. Okay. Now start solving.